There are new details tonight regarding the next wave of layoffs expected from the city of Houston. As a result of Prop B, Mayor Sylvester Turner has confirmed to Channel 2 that dozens more municipal workers will be notified this week that they're going to be laid off. Channel 2's Phil Archer joins us live now in downtown Houston with the specific numbers. Phil? Well, so far, the city has announced layoffs of over 100 city workers, and the mayor says there could be hundreds more, as many as four or 500, as the city works to implement pay parity between firefighters and police. At the same time, the Firefighters Union today says it's obtained budget documents that show the mayor isn't telling the whole story. The mayor confirmed today there will be 47 more layoffs this week, impacting city workers in the health department, parks department, and city libraries. You know, we're trying to minimize the number of layoffs as much as possible. But unfortunately, unfortunately, the cost exceeds what the city has. Last week, the city laid off 66 rookie firefighters, and the mayor says there could be hundreds more layoffs needed to balance the budget. If uh, the union was uh, willing to phase in the cause of Proposition B, we could avoid these layoffs and the impact on, on the city across the board. The Firefighters Union says it has proposed a plan to phase in Proposition B, but has gotten no response from the city. It's a three-year implementation of Proposition B, saves the city $120 million, reduces the cost, everything that the uh, city had asked for, and this mayor continues to mislead the public. Union President Marty Langton also contends the mayor is trying to subvert Proposition B. He says budget documents leaked to the union show that almost 900 fire department employees won't be getting raises this year or next. The secret documents uh, that we obtained uh, last week that we've repeatedly asked this mayor to give us um, clearly show that this mayor is actively not respecting the will of 300,000 voters. The city says Fire Chief Samuel Pena will provide information tomorrow to explain exactly what those numbers mean. And the city confirmed this afternoon that the union did provide a plan to phase in the raises, but says that plan won't prevent layoffs. Reporting live from City Hall, I'm Phil Archer, KPRC Channel 2 News.